This is Dr. Judson Brandeis from Brandeis MD and Pornhub Wellness. Let's talk about orgasm. In the struggle for the opportunity to reproduce, an individual has to outcompete rivals and attract partners. Sexual selection ultimately dictates who gets to pass their genes into the next generation. Reproduction is the end goal of evolutionary fitness, which is why orgasm evolved to be so pleasurable. Why would you fight other males to the death if sex didn't feel so great? Reinforcement and reward are the ultimate motivators of behavior. So you can see why orgasm and ejaculation evolved to be so amazing. However, orgasm and ejaculation are two separate but linked physiological processes. Orgasm is a temporary sensation of intense pleasure that creates an altered state of consciousness. Ejaculation is a complex process of semen emission and expulsion that is ultimately responsible for procreation. In nature, while animals are engaged in sex, they are in a vulnerable position. Rapid ejaculation allows them to get back to protecting themselves more quickly. Humans are different because in many societies, intercourse occurs for purposes other than reproduction. Now there's no standard definition of orgasm. However, most of us know one when we feel one. We breathe quicker, our heart races, and our blood pressure rises. We feel the powerful and highly pleasurable rhythmic pelvic muscle contractions and pulsation of the muscles located at the base of the penis, the ischiocavernosus and bulbocavernosus muscles. The volume of ejaculate for a healthy man averages about 3.7 cc's or three quarters of a teaspoon. When men are young, they can shoot semen 12 to 24 inches. The ejaculation force gives the sperm a head start in their journey up the vaginal canal to the cervix and the awaiting egg. As men age, the expulsive force propelling the semen diminishes unless they exercise their pelvic floor musculature. And after the age of 50, this distance declines to 6 to 12 inches. Intense and consistent Kegel exercises or the M cell a chair can possibly enhance the pleasure associated with orgasm. Several factors influence the experience of orgasm. First of all, the rhythm of intercourse. A rapid buildup usually results in less intense orgasms. Testosterone levels drive libido. Lower levels of testosterone are associated with less frequent and less intense orgasms. And the source of stimulation. Orgasms from penile stimulation cause contractions of four to eight different pelvic floor muscles. Orgasms from direct prostate stimulation cause contraction of 12 different muscle groups, resulting in more intense orgasms that you would feel throughout the entire pelvic floor. However, prostate orgasms require anal stimulation, which some men do not prefer. Now, ejaculation occurs through the effects of adrenaline triggered by the stress response of the sympathetic nervous system. In contrast, the parasympathetic nervous system facilitates the relaxation response resulting in erections. Hormones and neurotransmitters that play an essential role in, in ejaculation. Interestingly, the exact trigger for ejaculation is unknown but an entire symphony of biochemistry is occurring behind the scenes that coordinate the process and the experience. Testosterone supports male sexual function, muscle tone, and especially libido. Oxytocin, which is our bonding chemical in the blood, increases with male ejaculation as much as three times normal before returning to baseline 10 minutes after ejaculation. Dopamine, which is responsible for both pleasure and addiction, is vital for normal male sexual response. Serotonin. Low levels of serotonin 
likely inhibit ejaculation. And serotonin is our feel-good happiness chemical. And nitric oxide inhibits ejaculation. And researchers have investigated nitric oxide boosters as a treatment for premature ejaculation. Now the significant steps before orgasm include before the emission phase of ejaculation, the bladder neck closes to prevent semen from spilling into the bladder. If the bladder neck does not close, there is retrograde instead of antegrade ejaculation. Next, the white color prostate secretions mix with sperm delivered through the vas deferens that starts at the testicle. Sperm and the prostate secretions combine to contribute 20% of the semen volume. The seminal vesicle fluid, which is mostly fructose or sugar and pale yellow, makes up 80% of the total semen volume. Rhythmic contractions of the muscles of the pelvic floor and base of the penis propel the semen through the urethra tube. And ejaculation requires nerve supply from the sympathetic nervous system. For more information, please visit BrandeisMD.com or AffirmScience.com. Stay tuned to Pornhub Wellness for additional articles, and please suggest further topics and send in your questions. In my 25 years, I've seen a lot, and if I don't know the answer to your question, I'll consult one of my colleagues. Your sexual health is important to me and to Pornhub. Thank you.